scattered along the Mediterranean coast and the nearby regions, from the Atlantic Ocean to the Black Sea, Salinas and Salt Works are very special places, not just because of the salt produced there, but also because of their landscape, particular, even extreme, to the edge of the earth, sea, and air. Throughout time, Salinas offered, either as natural salt pans and salt turns, or as the palimpsest of man-made works, an important product in many different respects for people and civilization. The daily salt, indispensable for saturating the natural craving for salt, experienced by people and domestic animals alike, the flavoring additive that made food tastier, and finally, the food preservative for perishables, used more than anything else. It is because of these uses, along with numerous other manufacturing and industrial ones, that salt constituted history's white gold. The beauty of Salinas is associated with their function as wetlands. Because they have basins of varying salinity, Salinas are habitats for a plethora of living organisms with different needs. At the same time, Salinas constitute extreme hypersaline ecosystems, where only few salt-tolerant species can survive, but which grow into extremely large populations in a competition-free environment. This is the case of Artemia, a small crustacean devoured by flamingos as they filter the brine. The wealth of bird life found in Mediterranean Salinas is inexhaustible. This is where avocets, waders, and migratory birds from Northern Europe come to spend the winter, while at the same time Salinas are populated by ducks, geese, herons, even swans, pelicans, storks, and birds of prey. In spring, when the breeding season starts, Salinas are full of life, renewing their invitation to bird watchers from all over the world. Apart from the permanent inhabitants like the avocets, Salinas attract black winged stilts and terns as they return from Africa to nest. Along with a quiet environment, their young are sure to find here the food they need until they migrate in late summer. Despite their ecological, historical, and cultural importance, one after the other, Mediterranean Salinas have been falling prey to abandonment for several decades. Those still in operation have to face serious pressure from other, more competitive, non-Mediterranean salt works, challenges from changes in land use and other environmental threats. In many places of the greater Mediterranean region, the clock has been ticking for the reopening of disused Salinas, like the Camiliona Salina in the Italian town of Churia, which now works as a museum, thanks to the passion of some local salt lovers. One of the most positive examples of best practice in this field is the collective effort of the Garand region in Brittany, France, where the trilogy of Salinas, Salt and Salters have formed a successful basis for sustainable local development. In order to reach this target, there is a need for financial support and human resources, collective acceptance of this concept at the local level, raising awareness of the value of participation and enthusiastic perseverance will lead to innovative uses and methods of development, the linchpin being the Salinas and the salt of the region.